Hey guys, wel- welcome to the Wings Mobile Detailing Podcast. I'm Arslan and I'm here with Andre Mazilira. On the, the man himself. Here I am, man. Today, what we're talking about today is really, really nice, important topic for anybody who's starting a business uh, with excuse making. All right, whoever's in business for this is actually really more important for people who's been in business for two, three years. And yeah. just making excuses. Well, equally for people who are looking to get into a business and they're, and they're looking at all these excuses as why they shouldn't get into business. True. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. Uh, and, but we're going to cover those. And that can be... Uh, it's important for you guys to really not work yourselves around that because that can kill any business. And ex- excuse is the worst form of... Uh, uh, Right? Yeah. Like I think the important <laughs> thing is to first understand that you're making excuses. That is these that the things that you're looking at are not reasons. Yeah. And one of the excuses that people make a lot, they have different ones. Like it, it's kind of in the trend. If you're starting a business or is in business, uh, you start to think, oh, maybe I don't enjoy. Maybe that's not my thing. That's not what I actually want to do. Competition. Once you're in business, yeah. you start saying competition's high. We're in the wrong location now. Prices are too high when you get into business later on. And there's one that's worst that I find it's the worst from all of them, which there normally comes when you're ready in business and things are going south, which they always do. It's a, it's a trial, those trial days that you have and you have to get through to succeed in life is if you make these excuses, it can make you quit. And that's, we're gonna cover this until the end of this podcast. The final one. I uh, stay with the introduction. Our son's gonna pick it up. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome to the Wings Mobile Detailing Business and Automotive Podcast, the only podcast that will guide you on how to start and grow six-figure companies. As our team expands from one business location to worldwide domination, you will get step-by-step insights from a millennial franchiser and franchise owner with your host, Andre Mezzalera. Uh, we're back now with the excuse making if we're definitely starting our own business uh, I have I actually personally have like many friends before uh, that they always go through the same they're about eight or nine excuse they all repeat themselves yeah if they're starting their new business oh what business should I start and they start searching into it maybe they get really excited the first second third day and then they start to look at all the negative things that can happen and it's kind of, they try to justify why uh, they shouldn't proceed with something in their mind and making excuses. And that's normal. That mainly comes from fear of jumping into your business. Like, let's say you have your regular day job right now and you're looking to start your own business, but you constantly push it back. That, the, whatever reason you're picking as your reason to push, to push that idea back or push that start date back, that's an excuse. Yeah. You should you should just jump into it. And there's a lot of excuses that we're going to go over. Um, competition is one that I really relate to a lot because that was one of my main excuses that it took me a while to understand that that was an excuse for me it's because true. I would always I would always do research on the on the businesses around me in the same industry and I would I would just be scared. I'm like, "Wow, these guys are doing this, but they're 20 years into the business. How am I going to compete yeah. with these guys when I've only been here for a year or two? Or but they have this, they have that. Yeah, they have that. They Start have more money. About it. Yeah, exactly. Like they, had, I, they I, have I can more never resources. Get there. Yeah, they, they have always 20 think that guys else. already. They already have like the client base, the the loyal client base that that they have coming back to them regularly. How am I ever going to compete with that? I'm so late to the game. Like yeah. I, can, I can never get into yeah. this. Yeah, it, it's, that's one of them. That's that, and, and that was a huge one for me. But yeah, there's a lot. I mean, yeah, yeah. and people go through that. The competition thing as well. Like they, yeah. they definitely go far into that. Uh, and it, it just guys, you just gotta focus on not focus away from the excuse. Each time you get yourself, you caught yourself doing, saying, "Oh, but I can't because of this." But in your mind, even if it's on your mind. We, we do it all the time. We do it all, even small stuff. You know, I can't because of this, or you, you see obstacles. Those are usually comes from excuses. Yeah. And competition is a big one of them so in any business, no matter what you're in. Uh, at, at the beginning, another excuse that you're going to make is I don't really enjoy that. I don't really enjoy this. I thought I enjoy it, yeah. but I don't think so. I don't think this is my thing. 
And I personally believe that there's not, like, we're not, we're not meant to do one thing or the other. We're able to, uh, oh, maybe this is not for me. I don't think there's any yeah. one single thing that is said, oh, this is for you. This is made for you. Yeah. Because even if you do something that you think is for you, get excited about it, you're going to come with the excuse, oh, maybe I don't enjoy it anymore. Because that excitement lasts only three days. I could yeah. have had friends like that, dude. <laughs> uh, the thing is, you got to understand that it's normal, that everyone's going to go through it because you there, there will come a time even if it's something that you, even if your job or your business is something that you enjoy doing most of the time i'm sure there are days that you just don't enjoy it yeah and you're not going to want to get work done you're not you don't feel like getting out of bed but those are all excuses and you and you should know you should understand that you'll never love what you do every single day like yes. all, all the successful people that we listen to they say that like they don't they don't enjoy what they do every day but they get it done anyways yeah. like they they still take action despite how they feel yeah. and i think that's the main that's the main important thing is just to keep taking action despite whatever excuses that might pop up in your head it could be a good reason mm -hmm. but you have to understand that that's actually an excuse your your brain is making it something big so that you can just eat cheetos and sit down because that's all you that's all your brain wants to do you don't want exactly you don't want to work. your brain's kind of like made to be comfortable to go after comfort yeah and that, that's what that's your what mind is, your mind's looking for. And whenever you do something that brings you out of the comfort and you should do it every single day to succeed, you start getting excited out of it. You start practicing yourself and you start not making excuses when you realize that everything is up to you. Yeah. It's not around you. It's not something nothing external can block you from achieving anything. But these excuses will always come. It will always show up. The competition comes. And then you're, if you're opening something, if you're doing something, a business, for example, uh, they go over the location. You know, oh, this is, maybe that's not, it, you, we went through that. Man. Yeah, yeah, I did. did. I was like, this, this is, you know, we're, we're in a luxury business. This, there isn't that many rich people in my area. So I don't think, yeah. this, I don't think the business will do well. But it's, it's, these it's are all, all excuses. And it, yeah. it ended up, it ended up actually working out. <laughs> yeah, like because you took the responsibility to realize, and that's yeah. the one thing. That's the one thing that's crucial, to cancel out any excuse from your life. And that's the only way that you can actually truly re succeed and achieve your goals later on. Because we learn from other people, big people, is when they know that you have to remove any excuse, but to take responsibility, 100%. Yeah. Like, okay, I, I can do it, nothing external. And that, that's one thing, the lo like the location, for example. You're like, oh, you know, this, yeah. is, this is not a good market. The market, the economy. Yeah. Uh, it's always goes. It's gonna go through the same thing. Prices, right? Yeah. Like, oh, my, my, I'm charging too much. That's after after you're in business, you're gonna have that. The economy is one of the biggest biggest re or excuses for people. It's say, oh, it's out of my hands. Yeah. Uh, you know, the economy is this. But I mean, look at the amount of businesses that were successful during a recession or a depression. I mean. Andy Frizzello's company, who we talk about pretty often because that's he's someone who we listen to a, uh, a lot, his company grew 100% during the 2007-2008 recessions. He grew every year while everyone else was not, you know, yeah. wasn't growing. For Grant Cardone, his, his company grew. Like, there's True. a lot of examples of people who, despite the economy, their yeah. business grew. So why can't And it's yours? not them, exactly. And it's not yeah. them. A, what, another excuse, because we're covering a bunch of excuses now, another one that people do is exactly what Arsene, we're looking for somebody else. We're looking for somebody who su succeeds. But you can also make another excuse to yourself and we're just warning you because if you think about it, that is an excuse yeah. and you shouldn't think about it. Is, oh, that guy had that. You know, oh, Andrew Frizzella, he's a genius, he's smart. Yeah. At the moment you realize that we're all the same, we all have the same uh, capabilities, because we do. Yeah. Uh, especially here in America. I mean, if you guys are listening here, like we do, everybody does. Nobody is more genius than the other. It can happen, and w that once you take that responsibility to yourself, uh, I mean, it's that's when you're like set to succeed. You're set to do the yeah. things that you know that oh, it's up to me. And once you know it's up to me, you know that you got to do it, and yeah. not sit your ass around. Finding good yeah. people, same thing. When you're in business, that's another excuse you might make after you're in business. There's no good people out there. Yeah, well, there's no <laughs> good people out there. We heard this so many times. Yeah. And that's such, that's a huge popular excuse. Besides location, competition, Everyone there's Everyone is no, lazy out there. Yeah. Everyone just wants to work for a paycheck. Yeah, there's <laughs> this, that, yeah. 
and and uh, I can't in my business in my industry I cannot hire good people. If it was in that industry, oh, I don't depend on bad people because I can already hire somebody that's already ready to do the work. But no, like in any industry, if you're engineering from flipping burgers, yeah. there are bad and good people in every business. Yeah, there's problems, the same problems, and don't make that excuse. Don't get caught your don't cut yourself. Style of business that doesn't bring growth. Yeah. Uh, the economy is bad. Oh, it's that time of the year. Oh, the, which is the same thing as like the economy is bad. Yeah. Oh, it's that time of the people year. Aren't no, people right are spending right now. Yeah. <laughs> people aren't spending because of the holidays. People aren't spending because it's spring, because it's rainy. Because when the it's... truth is you're not actually reaching out to enough people to, to, to be booked up. Uh, like mm-hmm. that, that's your, your excuse is that the economy is this or the, the weather is different now. So there's less clients or, you know, there's a government freeze and the, and the people aren't going to work. So like yeah. there isn't enough money out there. But if you actually did, did do the work and take action and did reach out and follow up with your previous clients or, or go out, uh-huh. just, just go out, Get just yourself go out and find busy. someone. Get yourself busy. Get yourself, take the responsibility to and, know that it's up to you. And it'll you. come to you. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and it'll, and, and you'll see that it's all in your hands and none, not, nothing is out of your hands. Yeah. Just, it, it, just, and the, the moment that excuses starts to grow is when you're, you have blank space on your calendar. Like Grant Cardone says, yeah. white space on my calendar is the devil <laughs> because it, it will come visit you. It's gonna start thinking about negative things, excuses, depression. Immediately, yeah. Justi- you wanna justify your situation to why you're feeling that way by saying that it's the things around you. Yeah. You know, like it's that time of the year, people are not calling. Again, that's normal. If you, if you sit in a quiet room and you just focus on what you're thinking, and you'll see that most of your thoughts are negative. That's that's the human brain for you, yeah. because because it's trying to protect you. It's trying to it's trying to keep you safe in a little mm-hmm. corner. Yeah, and, and the more the more you think, the the harder it is for you to get out. Yeah, the more you're hibernating or staying exactly. or not being busy, the harder it is to get out, and the more depressed you get. The yeah. life sucks at that yeah. point. It and really starts to suck. You'll, you'll start to lose your edge, but you, you can train yeah. yourself out of that. Like you can, you can yeah. just, just like training your muscle by working out. If you, if you constantly make the decision to move forward, to mm-hmm. take action, that's a muscle. You're, you're growing a muscle. You're going to, it's going to be easier and easier for you next time. Like if you're going through a downtime right now, you're not taking action. You're not doing anything. If you decide to take action now, next time you feel this way, you will take action a lot easier because you're used to it. You're, you're used to constantly doing something. And that's one of the yeah. hardest things to like make a habit out of. It, it is, dude. And we all, we, we all have those moments. Like we, we look up through Andy Frizzell, like the guy's successful. He has yeah. everything, like, like material, materially speaking, he has the cars and everything, big company. And we also, and people do that too, because we I done that before. Like I see Andrew's like, mate, I don't think he has those bad days where he just wants to stay in. Yeah. But he what does. does he have to worry about? He's a multi millionaire yeah. with a big company. Like that's how I saw it. Yeah. Him. Or he, he has... doesn't lose the energy. Like yeah, does he's... he ever feel comfortable? Like because he's sometimes not... we get to a moment where yeah. we we f- we first want to like put yourself ourselves into comfort and then the excuse comes. Yeah. Because we want to stay there. And that comes to everybody, any business owner, Andy Frizzell, the big guys out there. It comes to any business owner, and that that's a bad, you know, that's that's a bad excuse that for you to get yourself ready, ready to go, and out of comfort. First thing you have to do is eliminate or understand that what you're saying in your mind, they are excuses. They're not, they're not real. They're just fantasy. Yeah. You're just creating that negative thoughts in your mind. It's not like this is not to be a, oh motivational thing because a lot of people confuse this with you know I don't need to hear that and uh, the majority of people who say that they don't need to hear that they are those people that actually make those excuses because this is not like motivational shit dude like this is actually for business and in life yeah like removing excuse from your head that's practical like you can't move forward if you have those thoughts in your head negative thoughts and you're just lazy yeah if you blame things around you the the economy the time of the year people are not buying you know the price is too high maybe he doesn't want it like all of that can be overcome by you being good oh the price is too high he doesn't want to buy it it's your fault that he doesn't want to buy you didn't your product is not good enough you didn't Yes. You don't know how to sell it. Yeah. Because once you get educated in something, dude, the more education you get, the more like affluent in, the, in something. 
it becomes easy for you. You start to realize, dude, it's also up to me the entire time. Exactly. Yeah. Every, everything everything is up to you at the end. If you're like, if you're smart, if you're good at sales, if you're if you're a hustler, then your business will yeah. take off. But if you lack one or two of these things, if you're lazy but smart, it's not gonna work out. If you're yeah. not lazy, stupid. I don't know if you or have you no can motivation. Be lazy. I think you can be lazy, dude. Like you know, you it's can't. okay for lazy, but as long as you like fight against it, know that oh, I'm lazy. Yeah. Like sometimes and we that's feel what like Andy that. He says that all the time. He yeah. says I'm naturally I'm lazy as fuck. I just want to <laughs> lay on my couch and watch yeah. TV all day, but I don't. Yeah, because you know you you know the importance of getting educated, of getting yourself well, out there, of getting back. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, there's someone you want to be and you have to work to be that person. You can't just lay around and become that person. You, yeah. You can't become, you can't lay, I can't lay around and become a, become a super good looking, fucking ripped multi-millionaire. I have to work out and I have to grow a business to become that. Yeah. Um, and obsessively, the more, the harder you do, the, the damn, better, should, the happier you We should have been recording this. <laughs> <laughs> I've been recording, man. <laughs> No, but that that but that's it. Uh, if we uh, <laughs> now see, I'm still recording. Okay, good, good. Thought it was a good combo, and we got it. Uh, now the worst, the I'm gonna can I throw it? Yeah. The worst, the, the worst excuse that one can make, and I've seen a lot of people who is in business for three years, four years, and things are going south, and everything is negative. Uh, that will get you off track. It's when you justify that you don't need to to go after your goals you're you're growing your business for a while and a lot of negative things is coming towards you Which you know oh i wanted to grow i wanted to make a lot of money i wanted to to have this have that have this yeah. lifestyle and then things go south and you start to see you start to realize when things go south it's hard to see it work out again you know because it's like oh i can't achieve my goals and it's okay, that happens with every business. Mm -hmm. Things go south, you start to not believe much. The problem is, is when you justify and you say that you actually don't need that anymore. Oh, I actually, I think I just wanna yeah. take it easy now. That's the huge excuse that it will kill your success. Because if you go down that route, you can doubt, everybody doubts. I, oh, I put my massive goal here, I don't think I can achieve that. Everybody has those doubts. But the moment that you justify the the reason why you're not achieving that, you start making an excuse that you don't need that anymore. Oh, I'm good, just chill. I just I just want to live, okay. That's the moment that you're probably gonna quit. You know, that's near the moment that yeah. that you're gonna give up to it and then go back to you know not that exciting life, getting things done and start yeah. get yourself comfortable. Yeah. Comfort yeah. is not good for anyone. Stay away from comfort as much. Yeah. yeah it's just, it's uh, procrastinate your comfort. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll push it to tomorrow. <laughs> say, I'll, say I'll, I'll rest tomorrow. I'll be lazy tomorrow. And then when tomorrow comes, push it again by another day. <laughs> That's what happens, dude. Yeah. I once, think everybody. And once, but once you're on a roll and you have momentum, everything seems to go your way. Like you're mm -hmm. happy, business, everything's working out. Once you yeah. gain some momentum and it's just it's just the important thing is just to start doing start doing what you already know what to do you just you're mm -hmm. just not doing it because of all excuses. the excuses that we mentioned <laughs> but if you actually start doing it for a few days and then for a week and you have momentum just please don't break that momentum because that momentum will you look back after 3 or 4 months and you're like wow look at how much i actually achieved yeah. physically mentally i improved so much it happens to everyone and, it happens to me all the yeah. time yeah I mean, it's it's normal. Yeah. It it is normal. It it's just it's just those are test day also. Yeah. If you really want to achieve massive levels, which the reason to have big goals is just so that you don't lose the momentum. But for you to achieve massive levels, is for you to succeed in those small moments, yeah. the moments that you don't feel like that something happened in your life, and you're like, oh, it's okay, I'll do it tomorrow. Procrastination. Procrastination with excuse won't take won't take you to success. Yeah. Well, for example, for a 75 day plan, if you get to like day 62, you're, you're going to push yourself to get to day 75. But when you're on day like two, it's, it's so easy to quit because mm -hmm. you're just in the beginning. So once, once you get, once you, once you keep going, it becomes easier and it becomes a habit and you gain momentum. Like it's just, it's just the beginning that you have to worry about. Um, if you don't feel like working on a website, if I promise you, if you just pull up the website, you fix a header on there, and then you'll eventually find yourself lost 
in your work and you just you look at the clock and four or five hours has gone by. You don't feel like going to the gym. You put on your clothes, go to the gym, oh, you yeah. lift one thing. That's what it and is. You, and you want to stay there for a, you know, an hour and a half, two hours. You just, you just have to... You just have to start. You just that's, that's what the, you that's just the thing. said. What you just said is that one thing that makes the successful people that makes them successful. That's the one thing. Yeah. That's the commitment. They get to do the things when they don't feel like. It's not they are more genius. Yeah. They got they got this. I don't have that. They got that opportunity. They no. Don't care about the, their feelings. It's, that, that's the one thing. The job will get done if yeah. I'm feeling happy. If I'm feeling like crap, that and job is And once you get, get to do it. People, like you starting to think oh it was actually easy because i'm doing it i'm there every day like yeah. i'm i'm changing people around me that's the one thing that makes successful and that's the 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 going back to the conclusion the worst excuse is when you justify that you don't need to achieve what you've been fighting for to achieve that you don't need the big goals yeah. anymore because if you don't have goals like what are you working every day for yeah nothing. everybody you're just goals. a robot you're just you're yeah just yeah, and you're, you, you're, you're good growing. in comfort, and then you and, and nobody is happy, completely happy in comfort. Yeah. Negative thoughts, white space. It becomes white space on the calendar. You start to get all the negative thoughts. It's the worst thing. So, get yourself away from those. Just, just one thing. Just realize that whatever you say that is external to you, that you're the reason justify why you're not doing something. The moment you justify why you're not doing something, that's an excuse. Yeah. Know to yourself, oh, I'm making an excuse. I'm being a little bitch. <laughs> yeah. Literally, yeah. If if you have a to do list, don't don't just do one or two things. Just just yeah. no matter what, just get everything. Keep your promises to yourself, and your confidence will start to grow. Your momentum will start to grow. Your life will start to change. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just stay away. Just like Andre said, just stay away from your comfort zone. Um, be as uncomfortable as possible because that'll also help you with your resilience with your mental toughness faster you'll you'll become tough faster and you'll start doing things a lot more but and most but yeah, important of all you're more you're happier just just know that it's normal that most people the reason most people are average and there's only a few people who are truly really successful is because this is actually what we're talking about is hard it's a simple concept don't make yeah. excuses do the work but the reason that 95 percent of people live paycheck to paycheck or whatever the stats might be it's the, it's the overwhelming majority of people that are that have yeah. a very average life it's, it's because of that exactly it's because doing doing the things that will push you forward are hard and you don't want to do them but the difference is if you do do them like the successful people and despite how you feel you will become just like them you you do what successful people do you will become successful that's the there's no secret yeah and and, the, and these are the things you gotta do yeah what we're gonna say is to avoid these types of excuses yeah it will make them successful thank you for listening and we'll be back with you guys next week <laughs>